Super flux is here and it is tight, tight, tight. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing today? I want to show you something that is really crazy because personally, I hate how slow flux is. So I try to figure out a method that is faster in the iteration and gives you much better results. But also, if you're one of my Patreon supporters, you can download that workflow right away today for free. And if not, I will show you the detailed workflow right now. Let's get started. So for everyone wondering why don't I use something else, the reason is because this workflow uses three K samplers in Cascade with a special trick. Also, thank you for Triple Head Monkey to testing this workflow together with me. So let's get started here on the right side where we load our guff model our dual clip and the VAE, which is the classic flux VAE. Uh, this has just a different name here. And then optionally, you can add a LoRa if you want to. Next to it, of course, we have here the positive prompt down here, the negative prompt that is empty. And of course, the flux guidance with 3.5 as you would do that. And then comes here, of course, already the special source that I have created for you. The part here on the right side, you can completely ignore. This is just a comparison to the old method where you render all steps in one go. Now here is the big and magic secret because let's look at the case sampler here. If you render in the advanced sampler, the first 10 steps, so zero to 10 with 30 steps total, you will be surprised that this gives you an unfinished image. Well, actually, it's not really a surprise, but it looks like that. OK, so that's not great to start with, but you will be super surprised if you realize that if you render 10 steps from 0 to 10 out of a total of 10 steps, you actually get a finished image. Da -da. Look at that. Now, this doesn't have the full amount of details, so we want to improve on that. But what that does, and this is the most important part for us, is it gives us a very quick image with a composition that will be consistent for the rest of the image so that in a couple of seconds, I can have a nice consistent preview and then we get much better detail with the following tricks I'm going to show you now because we are sending the latent output from our first case sampler into a second case sampler. Now, again, here we are using the same trick. So here we have a total of 20 steps. But of course, now we are rendering from 10 to 20 steps. So an additional 10 steps. But again, we are getting a finished image and already you can see it has very nice detail in there when you look at the face you look at the hand you look at the grass down here so already looking pretty sharp but it is getting even better my friends because what we are doing next is we are sending this into the third case sampler now in here i did an in-between step that triple head monkey suggested what I do here, and this is completely optional, is that instead of setting the latent directly to the third case sampler, which you can do if you want to, I do a VAE decode and then have the image that I sent into an upscale just using a model, not an ultimate upscaler. And so here I'm using the 4X real web photo. This is very good for realistic images. If you have something that's not a realistic image, you might want to use another upscale model here. And this, of course, is upscaling four times, which is too big for us. So I'm using here the vast node image resizer with 0.5 as the rescale factor. And then, of course, we need to re-encode that into the latent space. And now I'm sending it into the latent image input. And here again, we have the same trick. I'm using now 30 steps as the end result, and I'm using the 20 to 30 steps. So another additional 10 steps. And with that, we get this beautiful image here. Look at the beautiful face details, the hand. Everything here is amazing. Down here on the floor, everything 
looks nice. Now, if you think, well, that looks like a normal flux image, you would be wrong. You would be very wrong, my friends, because over here we have the result from, as you can see, 30 steps total, 0 to 30. This is a completely normal flux render as you would do it in the old and stinky method and you get this result. Look at the ugly face. Look at the ugly details down here. Not so nice. And of course, if we upscale by using just the upscale model, um, yes, we get this. Um, uh, what, the, what the hell is this? Doesn't look good. And of course, I have prepared some additional examples for you to show how this is actually better. So here I have the first example for you. This is used with the classic method. It's an okay picture, but if we scroll into here, look at the snow on our lizard here. Meh, not so great. Look at the eyes. Meh, not so great. Look at the skin texture in detail here. Meh, not so great. Now here we have my method. Of course, the composition here is different but that shouldn't keep you from using it because when we scroll in here, look at the snow on his head. Mwah, very good. Look at the eye. Very beautiful. Look at the textures here of his scales and the mouth. Also very nice. Now again, here we have an image with the old classic method. And when we scroll into it, you will realize you have this classic flux pattern on the skin. Of course, you can improve that if you use, for example, a real photo or a skin Laura. But well, low details here on the nose, no hairs in here, no detail in here. Up here, we have this kind of cat eye for some reason. So overall, Meh. But when we use my method, not only, and please take notice of this, the skull shape is nicer and more natural because this has this kind of like crazy jaw here. And then this is already better, I would say. But if we scroll in, first of all, we don't have this kind of strange pattern here. But also look, we have very fine, beautiful nose hairs in here. And then when we look up here on the eye, the cat eye has turned into the reflection of a person maybe. And we have a round pupil behind that. Also look at the other very nice details here. Of course, it doesn't get 100% rid of the turkey skin that Flux is creating for you. But like I said, you can use a skin Laura for that. And here we have the third example of a racing car in the Alps. Well, it is not too bad, but let's zoom in here a little bit. And suddenly, well, there is no details. There is no texture. It doesn't feel good anymore. Everything is a little bit meh and blurry. Not what I expect out of a really nice racing car. But happily enough, we have here my method, which has very nice details in here. Look here at the mirrors. We even have here a screen wiper or what is it called? Windsche windscreen wiper. Very nice details. Of course, the text here is completely random. Please ignore that. And then, of course, we have also a very nice landscape in the background. So overall, it's a much nicer and much more detailed image. And that is the magic of super flux, which is quicker to iterate and gives you mwah, beautiful details. Leave a like if you enjoyed that video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of that. And thank you for watching. Bye.